So no, a lot of people think I'm cocky because I can speak plenty English um, and I'm 6'4 and as much as I smile a lot, I, I don't find a lot of things funny. I get, I get that misconception a lot, but what's the person want to do now? Like it's your misconception, not mine. When I had my court case, um, Lafayette people, that's how I learned what the Ijebu people say, Ajojo, right? Pretty much Ajojo, right? I guess is they may not have had money to help me pay for lawyers or fight the case oh but they trooped in like they trooped in like crazy at the point the judge paused and i was like huh like why are there about 20 boys marching into the into the courthouse and they were increasing so is does that is that is that the way you stay grounded like the lafayette yes. the part the part of you going back there constantly yes um I use Lafayette to ground myself. Bros, I kid you not. My reality is, ah, like, la, boom. There was a time South Water was shooting a video and they just told him, ah, do go vector low, wow. He said, ah, more, more, and I drove past. <laughs> like, re, like, almost like 30 minutes after, after the conversation, I just drove past and I saw him. I was like, ah, like, la, be, go, e, so, like, ah, other she, so, re, to, sin, sin, yo, baba, na, so, um, I can afford to be in a bougie spot. I can afford to be at all these other things that happen. Um, but I don't want to get carried away with that temporal fact and ignore the permanent truth. It's permanently true that a lot of people in the hood don't even have anything. Oh, at the record with Eric Guy, it, the verse ended with, there's nothing cool about mosquito bites or zero lights. I don't care how, if you be hood, everybody will be hood. I like, well, me they be king of the school for Nigeria. Remini is speaking in private school. I became a private school. Nobody, nobody is going back to the hood. Like, you know what I mean? So I just do, but we usually do that, like to revive with our people. Like this is where we're from. However, we know we want better. And if we can, we pull our people along. So I don't, I don't run away from them. Shouts to my nigga, nigga, see the cute. Lafayette is the bigger crew. See the red and whites, the red and whites, the red and white, never really cool. Oh, the record label phase. The truth is, you you never really move. Okay, I realized again that in life, everything that happens to you registers in your mentality. It registers there. You may suppress it, but I don't think you can ever move past it because there'll be certain flags that will come in the future and it'll take you quickly. The human brain is such an amazing organ. Like, it'll flash back, Papa, pa, pa, what's really real? Allah, magic. <laughs> so how do you really say you've moved past that but you just have to like suppress that and move on to greater things the same way i believe like everybody has negative traits but what makes you a better person is the ability to take that your own negative traits accept it and tell it sit down for the positive one to stand so i'm i can't tell you ah i've totally left it to like i know i'm cool but i'm cool with the record label i'm cool with the ceo i think i even own one content <laughs> right now like because I've realized that in life, to some people, I'm also a bad person. You I get, deal, with deal with people thinking I'm a bad person. No, a lot of people think I'm cocky because I can speak plenty English, um, and I'm six four. And as much as I smile a lot, I I don't find a lot of things funny. I get I get that misconception a lot. But what's the person want to do now? Like it's your misconception, not mine. When we meet one on one, I've left it to. I don't have to explain to anybody. I don't have to. Point when we shall see, shall if we see, or if you are able to encounter me with somebody else, I'm like, oh, that is actually like a very, I don't, so I don't bother about that. It, everything I've noticed that maybe in the next five years, the level of suicide attempts in Nigeria will skyrocket, and I'm not even being, I'm not holding back anything like because people do not understand how to deal with present, like with the position they're in whilst they aspire. Or a higher one people don't know how to deal with that and our parents need they didn't they just we just say hardship you go better handle it so there are no like 
I don't think there are a lot of people who have the mental capacity to point out where the happy spot is and stay there. Well, not unless during sex. <laughs> but yeah. So, <laughs> like, I beg, I just know that shit I'm doing that shit. That there's not a sex. But yeah, um, in, 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 in general, I, I just live life. I don't let anything hold me back. Swear. If you know, know my story, oh yeah, shut your mouth. I, so one of the things that made, if you think it's a hangover, that's it. I like that analogy, but then again, it was more like, okay, so I got done with my court case. I was about to, that I understand that I lost every money that I had, right, with that court case. Um, and look here. <laughs> I think the only thing I, I took out was, no, well, and it was, to, to be honest, at the point where I was doing Shakara, so I bad guy, and I yo, okay, I want the car, <laughs> right? And I, but I only took my 33 pairs of sneakers and about 20 some pairs of hats, like then. But I eventually started to give, I eventually started to give everything out. Right? I started to build my life from the scratch again. Because um, I wanted to task myself to do this. You can do this again. So, it's just been lessons that I've learned. I, and I, I, after that period, I started to like, okay, build, like hustle, get money. And this is one of the things that I like to share with everybody in the world. Yes, sometimes you go all the way down. Give me that scratch in the surface. And you just have to get back up. Like that's it. So upon getting back up, I was trying, I was trying to make like one or two things, but then there's already this stigma to the image of, ah, um, Ah, court case. Ah, we don't want trouble. And then Nigeria, they showed you be with the pa. Ah, we don't want trouble. Ah, we don't want trouble. You know what? 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 Even people, we know if we get trouble. We just say we don't want trouble. I just say, guys. So a lot of people didn't want to touch your brand because they didn't want any legal letter or anything coming from anywhere, and that can be very annoying. There's no big boy about this. I might, I might as well put this energy out in the universe because somebody else is. I spoke to. And I like, but everybody's there saying, hey, he has to read contract as well to one G in the game. He doesn't even own his image rights. And he's not even a musician. And I don't even think Mourinho owns his image rights either. Really? At, yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, but he had that little thing with Chelsea on image rights yeah, too. When was really yeah, so, and he couldn't even produce a mug for Man Manchester United at the point. It's like, those things are there. You get what I mean? But. It just builds you into a stronger person. It, it, I, I just take everything and be like, don't let it weigh you down. Move on with it. You are from the scratch, you want to build this thing, everything is going on, then boom, your father dies. Um, I was recording whilst because this was going on. I did share with us. I couldn't, remember? Sure. Yeah, so <clears throat> I was there like, I remember when I was upstairs and somebody said that ah, they don't bash your car for downstairs though. I, okay, so I took my last money. I went to buy it like a studio setup for the house. Yeah, because I knew I don't know how what inspiration that was. I didn't think I was gonna invest money. I just had to buy a studio because I know that give or take <laughs> this is my happy spot. So one time they came and I was like, okay, somebody don't bash your car for now. I was like, I just plug music. I just played my instrument and just go. Baba God did not go there today, eh? We went from Pelebe to Baruzo Rizé, eh? I tell this mofo, square no shit. Hard work and money rounds like the band Jano shit, wait. So you know my story just a little bit. The kind of punches I received wasn't just a little hit. I remember when I used to only have a little meat and now the cow is in the pocket and the perfume is in mint. But he goes, if you see what I see, you know go fit to still believe. I lost a lot of my paddy. When I discover I see they were deceiving me. And he goes, if you see what I see, yeah, you know go fit to still believe I lost a lot of my body. When I discover city where they see me, just to kill my enemy. I just stayed there. And the curse was Baba God and I go day for the blessings to come my way. It's I just stayed there. Nothing made sense. I had a lot of sex in that period too because 
And that's how I knew that the only the problem with overpopulation is because the poor man cannot afford anything fun other than sex with his wife. There's nothing. He can't go to the park. He can't afford it. Probably can't even afford a condom. So ba 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 to see you know busy really, that's it. And that's how we just multiply and multiply and multiply. My life was teaching me lessons about humanity as well. Then my dad passed me. And Lafayette album then was supposed to be that. Gigi Moji, was simply because one day I left the court and the guys in the air was like, oh, ni guamoto amari di adubo ni, because guy, I was being tried in Lafayette as well. So we walked all the way to Lafayette and Ituba ba, Balo, Biggie, uh, it was about Dudu, a bunch of guys. They just came through and gathered to pray. These are guys that are on Bogota, on me, Bogota, Makinta. They they stop Kekena pay, they collect money. If you go now, about they collect money for Kekena pay for road, right? And they all gathered, and the one that was Muslim prayed in Islam. The one that, the masquerade that came out in the King Kong video, it's, it's a, there's an agbole for it. There's a family that, that is, um, that the masquerade is, what do you call that thing, like ancestry inheritance from them, uh, for them. And it came out that day. The son of the man that is handling everything came and said his own traditional prayer so that this too shall pass. And I remember it too, is the celebrity. He prayed in Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Michael Mimo. And I sat there. I, I remember I was wearing a white shirt with pink stripes, uh, I, a baseball hat with the, it was Italy. And I was wearing a Louis Vuitton blue shoe and like gray jeans, I think, or blue jeans. So I sat there and we were praying. I was just watching everybody and I was like, this is love. The ones that couldn't afford schnapps we went to buy Pelebe and used it to pray. Even though I thought they just went to shark, <laughs> right? That is why Lafayette was the album. But as I was about to pick up back from the scratch and like from the bottom that I was at, just passed. That's why I never really heard anything about the album anymore. Because I had a very close relationship with my dad, but it was very Barack. It was very, I don't really fuck with you like that, but I love you though. My father never said I loved you until I was 21. <laughs> and that was because he was fighting in Australia with the United Nations, well, East Timor. And he had seen mass death and destruction. So he realized, I guess, at that point, no, I'm the fourth. He realized at that point that I needed to say he loved his kids because at the point, I think he even, he was seated in the car and the bullet goes shoot from his, this guy. So maybe he's thought about that, but by the time he came back, I, was, I already had a broken nose from a fight. Like, yeah. So, all that was the Lafayette job, but his demise, I just let everything go. What caused the broken nose from the fight? The broken nose. What caused the it was in Gregory's College now. That it was bigger than I was, but you can't be like a guy. He's about to you. Uh, fight you now. I am now, nah, guy. Which of the same because you big, you get big fist and everything. I'll fight you. Don't worry yourself. It's weird. In the, I think it would be more of like a counter situation than what people would think. Number one, I just realized that. Yeah. Be a father in every responsible way that you can, but then understand saying that person way they okay and if you be a responsible person. No. So you count. Sacrifice, but also remember yourself. Cause you count. Your life matters. Because the day where you ask Papa go die, no worry. Your picking go do consolation sex between boyfriend or girlfriend. That's like that's as in that's that that's the first level of attempting to move on with your life. But then again, my father left so much behind based on hard work that I realized then that, okay, yes, you can, you, I can be vector now and make sure that all my music is well cataloged properly and we monetize them appropriately and do all these things. But then again, live my life because it's important. It's very important. So I just saw that what I saw in my dad was you can't do all that hard work and now die now. Like, 
there's a mentality in Africa of, you know, like parents who slave for the kids and hopefully when the kids are older, they will now return the favor and everything. But then for this Nigeria, we say, you know, she'll say you're picking a girl walk. And even if you get work, you know, sure say you go make sense. And even if it makes sense, you sure say dollar no go don't over shoot up. We be say now, even because in Nigeria, guy they'll pay you big money. You go be like say they'll pay you anything, simply because the yardstick of evaluation of consumption here is based on the almighty dollar, or as they will call it in some circles, the almighty petrol dollar. So I learned that guy live your life because it's life is too short. It's very very short. But then again, whilst your life do the best, my dad was just a good man. Like I said to people, if you met Jesus in reality today, just you are just going to meet a good man, a kind person. That's it. Living like we're chilling in the morning. Why be everywhere? We're not touring. This morning, I was still listening to myself say on the record, say whatever habit you're trying to pick, the positives to take, you should carry it. So I'm like. Yeah, that's very people that speak like this. I think it's, um, I think whatever you're meant to be, whatever is destiny to you will come to you easy. So I don't know if rap is a gift or if people can learn it, because I just also happen to be the one guy that can take points. I, I take notes of milestone occurrences in my life, spiritual encounters, mental encounters, the upgrades. I know, I know when I started to. When I started to really look into terrorism, I'm like, uh, no. The first thing was I saw the 9-11 attacks. I was at home in the barracks and I saw the news. I was like, wait, that's in flight plane, at that building. Like, as in, and I have a very, very, you know how they say Plato had this allegory of the cave concept? I have a very, very pictorial mind. And I was like, wait, who person? Uh. And I'm aware of the kamikaze pilots as well. So I'm like, wait, this is a new form of kamikaze piloting? Like, it's a full plane, right? And I think I saw somebody jump off the building from that far and I was like, Ugh. Then I saw the best nine attacks in Russia in the primary school or something. And I saw grown up, grown men shooting AK-47 into kids running. I was like, wait, not children be this now. As you know, we say not children. So I could recall those moments where all these things were building up together to make me this person that I am now. I can tell you like my first encounter with basketball I can tell you exactly how it happened my first encounter with terrorism I can tell you how my first encounter with hip-hop I can tell you how like so all those things just and I was very aware so I was like uh, no I can't go and work in the bank now I'll slap my guy if he talks to me anyhow I can't go and work here no I like because I was very self-aware from a very young age even though I felt like it was late my self-awareness was a bit late but yeah, so all those, I kind of like knew that I was headed somewhere with this. And the only place where I could be myself in its entirety and be at peace with what I am is in music.